Girl, when I saw this headline, I gagged. <laughs> so I was like, I need to bring it to y'all because this is an absolute mess. So let's get into it. You hate me. I don't want your nigga, you crazy. The nigga too lazy. I need me a nigga who can tame me. Coming through, we make your nigga switch team. So y'all already know how we do it on this channel. Uh, we like actual journalism around here. <laughs> so... The, I, I saw this article coming from Legal Affairs and Trials with Megan, the reporter. <laughs> uh, but the title of it is this. Tory Lanez's first lawyer told him blaming Kelsey Harris for shooting Megan Thee Stallion was not a viable strategy. So Tory Lanez's original lawyer, Sean Hawley, rejected his idea to try to persuade jurors that Kelsey Harris uh, was the one who did the shooting in this. An email obtained by this site shows Sean Hawley, Tory Lanez's original lawyer, instructed Lanez to see if another lawyer would be willing to move forward with that defense. As you can see from this uh, email here, she said, as we discussed on Saturday, I am not comfortable advancing the Kelsey defense. I love that she misspelled <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Kelsey defense, primarily because I don't find it to be a viable strategy. Holly wrote Lanes on November 21st, 2022. Now, some of you might be wondering, okay, why is it that we're even seeing <laughs> or able to see emails from Tory Lanez's lawyer to Tory Lanez or any kind of uh, communication like that? And that's because Tory Lanez's dumbass done waived his attorney client privilege. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm not fucking kidding with you. Uh, so Tory Lanez's original lawyer, right? Holly, uh, her email about the Kelsey defense or not wanting to do the Kelsey defense was among the documents that judge Hereford ordered unsealed after Tory Lanez waived his attorney client privilege over them at the advice, at the advice of his new lawyers, Matthew Barhoma and Jose Baez or whatever. So Barhoma and Baez are his new lawyers, and they convinced him to waive his attorney-client privilege. It says here, hired after Lanes was convicted, Barhoma and Baez argued in their sealed supplement that the original lawyer, Holly, was personally conflicted in her defense of Tory Lanes because prosecutors were accusing her of helping him to try and bribe Kelsey Harris as a witness. At the same time, they argued that prosecutors violated Tory Lanes's right to counsel by accusing Holly of bribery and leaking discovery. So they, what happened is they accused um, Tory Lanez's original lawyer of leaking discovery and bribing Kelsey Harris or something like that. And I guess in order to quote unquote prove this to the judge, um, they had to admit Sean Holly's like emails as being able to be seen by the court. So in, and then the only way to do that was to waive was for Tory Lanez to waive his um attorney client privilege because the new the new lawyers wanted to show the the court or the judge or whatever um Holly's original email as like a defense or something because she said and they're coming up with reasons why Tory Lanez's original lawyer Holly did not want to do the Kelsey defense besides the fact that it was stupid as hell the unsealed documents include an email that Sean Holly wrote Tory Lanez on December 18th, three days before closing arguments. In this email, she was formally quitting, okay, as his counsel, inciting Kelsey Harris's statement that Sean Hawley was somehow involved in facilitating an arrangement between you uh, and she, whereby you would finance her business or something like that in order to curry favor with her, thereby aligning you, your and her interests as far as this case was concerned. But then in the letter, she's like, you and I both know this never, never happened. She said that to Tory. Um, in any event, the fact that this, these false allegations have been made about me and that they are now evidence in the case makes it a conflict as an ethical slash legal matter for me to continue to represent you. And as a result, I am obligated to withdraw as your attorney. She was like, you ain't about to get me caught up in that shit. Now we can dive a little bit deeper into why Tory Lanez waived his attorney client privilege in the fucking first place. Um, so his two new lawyers advised him to do so after the judge restricted their argument to only issues raised in their unsealed motion for a new trial, not the sealed supplement. Hereford warned them that 
Tory Lane's waiving privilege would allow the public and prosecutors to access everything. And there are some things in there that I don't know that you want to come out. Um, the judge told Lane's Mr. Peterson, I don't know if you're following what we're talking about here, but you have the attorney client privilege. In other words, anything you tell any of your lawyers is privileged, which means it cannot be disclosed to anyone. If your lawyers are making the claims that they're making, they are waiving that privilege and putting that out there. Do you understand what I mean so far? Um, and Tory Lanez responded by saying this, I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? And I'm just like, of course, this motherfucker don't understand what the fuck you talking about, bro. Like, what do you mean? So after Tory Lanez briefly talked to uh, his lawyer, one of his lawyers, he, he then stood up and said, yes, I understand. And it's just like, girl, you do not, you did not understand. <laughs> because we seeing, we seeing that your first lawyer said, hey, I don't think we should blame Kelsey for this shit because it sounds fucking stupid. We should try another fucking route. You, if you did not understand because we seeing all the emails. You did not understand. So um, then he said again, then the judge said again, in other words, your lawyers have submitted to the court various documents that include emails and communications from Miss Holly, from various other people that talk about your trial strategy and talk about other things, which ordinarily would not be disclosed. But they put Miss Holly's situation in issue. So in order for them to do that, like in order for us to you know, basically in order for them to make this argument for us to even see if this argument has any validity. Uh, your privilege is waived as to these documents. Do you understand that? And Tory Lane said, yes, your honor. And then he asked again, the judge asked again, are you willing to waive your privilege only with respect to these documents at this point? Okay, he said, yes, your honor. With that, Tory Lane's authorized the public release of several emails Holly sent him in the weeks before George, the other guy, took over as the trial counsel. So Tory Lane's new lawyers argued that his original lawyer fared a defense focused on Kelsey Harris would bring up unwanted testimony from Kelsey Harris about um, Holly's, Tory Lanez's original lawyer's own involvement in Lanez's alleged attempt bribery. So they're arguing, the new lawyers are arguing that the reason why Holly don't want to go through this goddamn Kelsey um, defense is because, <laughs> is because it would expose holly's own the lawyer the original lawyer's own involvement in whatever is going on but prosecutors say that the two new lawyers are missing the significance of kelsey harris's statement regarding um the original lawyer holly uh the issue is not whether holly was truly involved in the attempted bribery it was that harris said that tory lanes told her that holly was involved in it <laughs> so the fact that so the fact is and this has come from the da said who said this next thing the fact is that the evidence showed that Tory Lanez told Kelsey that his attorney, Sean Holly, told him to structure the bribe this way. Well, because the defendant said that doesn't mean that Sean Holly actually said that or actually provided help behind the scenes. And um, that's what the DA said. So it's just like while these motherfuckers are trying to throw under the bus Tory Lanez's original lawyer. His original lawyer was like, okay, girl, I'm backing out. She also, in other documents, she brought up like, okay, but I'm also helping you with this August Alcina shit that's going on. So it's like, she ain't no, she, <laughs> like she, she's like, but y'all trying to throw me under the, but I, I think that's from, from my understanding, I think that's what's going on. And in order to even get that um, ball rolling, I guess, or to get people to, or get the court to look at these, that argument Tory Lanez had to waive his attorney-client privilege so they could see the emails between, I think, Sean and Tory. I think that's how that's that's what's going on. Like, I th that's how I'm understanding it. It's like, so he don't know. He's just a dumb... I'm, I'm so sorry. I really hate to say it, but he's a dumbass nigga, like, just being spun around, bro. Like, I can see how these lawyers would take these... I mean, I think it's, you know, horrible, but I can see that they... The, the goal is the money. It don't even matter if you win the fucking case. They was talking about, I mean, they was talking about in, in some of these emails. Oh, well, Tori, you know, yeah, he got to pay me $175,000 before this starts, before this trial even starts. Um, we could do, we don't have to do all the payment at once because I guess she had to organize, you know, different DNA experts and whatever and lawyers and shit like they don't give a fuck up these lawyers are just like girl these motherfuckers with these expensive ass chains they're gonna have to sell them holes 
And it don't matter if they win or lose because, bitch, I'm going to get some money. Like, that's what the fuck's going on. This motherfucker dumb as hell. No shade. Like, he was being spun around by these bitches. Like, give up your attorney-client privilege when you just, when you're trying to come up with all these lies and arguments. Now we have direct proof from your fucking original lawyer saying that, hey, guess what? I know we plan to go the Kelsey defense. I know we plan to use the Kelsey fucking line. (laughs) But this shit sounds stupid as hell. And I don't think we should go through with that dumb shit. You know, or I, I know y'all want to do that shit. I know y'all want to blame Kelsey, but um, this shit sounds stupid. That's that's literally what we have coming from your fucking main lawyer or original lawyer is what I should say. So I don't know. Dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. Right. I mean, sentence right before the sentence or two. Dumb as hell. <laughs> dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. And it's like. Yeah, they're going to still be idiots over here acting like they know more than, well, acting like they know even two Tory Lane songs talking about, oh my God, he didn't do it. He didn't, he's so, it, girl, it, it does, come on, let's use our brains. I know it's hard for some of you. Let's use our brains for a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Um, this news was absolutely crazy. Justice for Megan. I cannot imagine going through that shit. And then that, that Cabbage Patch kid going to get online and lying and shit. I can't imagine that shit. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Check out my description box, like I said, um, for more content. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.